Windows Server 2019 System Administration. Welcome back everybody. I am Prakash Badan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's this session, we are going to talk about the schema that is a, one of the most important object over here actually in a, your uh, active directory actually. So uh, whenever we install any server family operating system and we promote it as a domain controller, and after that, if it happened to be that we need to upgrade that operating system to the newer version, let's say you might be installing server 2016 after that, you are in need of upgrading that operating system to the server 2019. Now, if it is simply upgrading your operating system, there is no issue. But if that server family operating system 2016 is completely domain based, that means in that server 2016, if you have completely installed domain controller, you have got so many objects, you have got so many group policies. And after that, if you simply upgrade your operating system, trust me, you are in big trouble. The main reason behind that is that every server family operating system you install over there, it used to have the schema version actually. So this schema version is nothing. This is simply a description of all the your Active Directory objects and its attributes actually. So it's a kind of blueprint for your Active Directory objects. That means in server 2016, whatever your Active Directory objects attributes are there, as per the version of your schema, if you install server 2019 and you notice that they are having the completely two different versions of your schema. That means the objects that you have created, as I said, it's a kind of blueprint in your Active Directory objects. The object that you have created in server 2016, whatever group policy that you have implemented, that will not be readable in your server 2019 if your schema is not upgraded. That means it's not only about upgrading your operating system. Before upgrading your operating system, if you want your client to be having the same properties, if you want your client not to have any issue, to log in to access any of your network share resources in that case you need to make sure that before you upgrade your operating system the schema version must be upgraded now in this session i'm going to show you how to check your schema version with your server family operating system now for your convenience as you can see over the screen i have already listed the different versions of your operating system from the very early 2000 and the different versions of your schema that is being associated with the server family operating system. So currently as you are talking about the server 2019, so our schema version will be most probably 88. But if I'm working with the server 2016, then in that case it will be your schema version 87. Okay, now to be honest, this operating system I have installed in order to show you the complete practical implementation of upgrading a server family 2016 to the 19. So that's why over here I'm going to show you uh, how to see the schema. There are two ways to see the schema version of your server family operating system. One is via PowerShell or let's say via the command and second one is the easiest way to go through your GUI. So first I'm going to show you how to see your schema version of your server operating system. So for that, without wasting time, let's go to my server operating system and I'm going to take you to your PowerShell. So it's, it's simply that in a PowerShell, we are going to hear the small command and that it's going to show you the schema version that you have in your current server family operating system. Trust me, if you forget to upgrade your schema before upgrading your server family operating system, none of your client will be able to log in. That means your entire blueprint gone waste. That means client, object, properties, whatever information are there, that will not be matched. In that case, none of your client in a domain will be able to log in. So that's why you make sure first you upgrade. So let's see the command to see your schema version in your server 2016. This one is the server 2016. Okay, then later on, I'm going to show you how to upgrade. That is in my next video where I'm going to show you how to upgrade your server final operating system, including the upgradation process of your schema version so that's why i have added this operating system as a 16 so that later on you can see this tutorial upgrading to server 2016 to the server 2019 so that will be my next video so let's see the command over here get hyphen ad object okay ad ob okay ad object after that open the bracket get ad root dse close the bracket if dot schema naming context iphone property and 
object version of course that is our prime concern to see over here via this command now this is the server 2016 so that's why its object version is 87 see here you need to understand without upgrading the schema version you will not be able to upgrade your server family operating system if you forget to upgrade this trust me you are in big trouble so now this is the command to see your schema version in server 2016 now if you use the same command in server 2019 it's gonna work that we're going to see now in our next video now so this was the way to see your schema version in a windows server 2016 or 19 it's the same command now i'm going to show you the process of seeing your schema version without using the command so in that case this is the part that means option two you'll have to go to the tools and select your adsi edit So now if you see over here, ADSI edit is here. Okay. Now you'll have to select it first. Okay. After you select ADSI edit. Okay. Uh, you will not find this because it was previously connected. So that's why you are saying over here. Okay. Now after writing or selecting ADSI edit, you'll have to right click over here. Okay. So I'm going to remove it because I want to see from the beginning, right click and connect. From the beginning see in order to see your schema version okay through the gui go to ads edit right click connect to now what do you want to connect over here okay select schema and then okay after selecting a schema you'll find to the left pen this menu is there okay now see cn schema now right click over here and if you want to see the rest of the properties of this schema, you can see from here. Now here, you can notice the schema version should be 87 since we are C. Congratulations, you have successfully seen over here. See now, this is the object version of your schema actually. That is 87. And server 2019, that will be 88. Okay, so please guys do not forget to upgrade your schema before you wanted to upgrade your server 2016 to the new version of server 2019. So I believe it was so easy in order to see the schema version via your GUI and your of course the CUI and the different versions of schema I have listed over here on you. So if you find it was easy, so please do like and subscribe. Thank you.